What's up guys, it's your boy Zawoki back with another tech and gear with Zawoki. We're going to be talking about controllers today when it comes to PS5, PS4, or Xbox. If you're looking to up your game and you want to take it the next stevel, or next stevel, the next step in the uh, upping your game, it's going to be going with Cinch Gaming, a uh, controller company that is a little here and there, but we're going to be taking a look at the actual um, controller itself. I've used it for a few days. I'm going to be comparing it with an Elite 2 uh, controller and a normal controller as well. So that being said, grab a chair and grab some popcorn as we take a look at this Cinch Gaming controller that you might need for your uh, gaming needs. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, or if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down the bottom right. Smack the bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, you'll get the little ring notification that so we'll keep myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you so very much for the continued love and support that all of you have been showing me on this channel. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Tell your friends, tell your family, or anybody you guys know, and we'll continue to grow in 2022. With that being said, you guys are here for one reason, and that is to up your gaming when it comes to PS5, um, Xbox, or PS4 for the people that decide to stay back and play some PS4. With that being said, I wanted to up my gaming. I've been gaming on this scuff, or not scuff, controller. Series Elite 2 controller for I believe two years now. I would say that it has done me a great amount of service. I love it. Yes, everybody's gonna be like, holy crap, that thumbstick is ridiculous. I like my thumbstick to be high when it comes to these. Um, this controller still works fantastic. It's great. It does have a problem with drifting. I have fixed that problem and have had to fix it multiple times. It does work still. The left bumper on here has been starting to go out. Um, you guys can hear that it eventually goes out here and there. Um, you just have to play, pretty much play the game. I use the buttons occasionally that are on here to mapping instead of um, using my X or B, I can use the paddles on the back when I feel like I need it, depending on the game. Um, overall, this controller is definitely great, um, but overall, I wanted to go in a different direction. I was looking at controllers when it comes to Scuff, when it comes to Cinch, when it comes to the, a couple other brands, and I've done my research. I looked into it, looked at the reviews. And pretty much you're going to be getting negative reviews and positive reviews on the board when it comes to Skiff or Scuff, Cinch, and all the other brands out there. People are obviously going to have their different opinions, but mine is going to be 100% an honesty review because I'm not being paid by uh, Cinch themselves. I have sent in my partner request to be partnered with um, Cinch Gaming, which fingers crossed, hopefully in the future. But right now, I'm doing my honest review that is not going to be paid in any way. I bought my own controller. It's not been sent to me. Um, <clears throat> I only have one negative about this so far, and we'll get to it. But first, we're going to be taking a look at the controller. It does come with a... Well, it said that it would come with a case. And because of my issue I had they sent me a case and a lanyard which okay was great it's fantastic the case is actually the, the case is great I love the case I don't like that when or I should say I have two different things I don't like in here the only thing I don't like about in here or they gave me a couple lanyards they gave me oh they gave me two so they gave me a rubber one which awesome I didn't realize they gave me that one so they gave me a cinch gaming rubber lanyard they gave me a normal lanyard, okay, and then they gave me the actual controller case, which it has some sections here to put in some um, paddle, or not paddles, but um, some other things you might need in here and sort of like that, um, so maybe thumbsticks, um, who knows, um, but you guys can put that. The only thing I don't like about it is that the controller doesn't go here. It goes up in here, so it's in the top, so when it's actually sitting inside, it's hovering inside this mesh strap, which it's, it's different, okay? The, so the actual bubble part here is act, the actual controller that's in there. Now that I put thumbsticks on mine, it don't necessarily fit in here exactly, 
which is my my fault, my my part. But it still works great in here when I put it down here, just laying in there and I cover it. But I don't do that, okay? I'm not going to be going anywhere anytime soon, but the carrying case is definitely great. Um, if you guys are going on large trips, it's definitely rock hard. It's very hard to squeeze. Um, but overall, I'm definitely very impressed with the overall quality of the case. You guys are like, oh, we don't care about the case. I know, okay? The lanyards are pretty cool that you get. Um depending on if you do purchase them or if they your controller takes a little longer, um, which is why I got these lanyards and the case. I originally purchased this one back in May of this year, and I just received mine a week ago. Um, that's the only negative I think I have on this is it took a little bit longer than they state, which is the six to eight window of um, receiving the order, building the order, sending the order, I was expecting to get mine beginning of July, end of June, and I didn't get it until August. So not terribly bad, but the wait I feel was worth it. And because looking at this controller, there is definitely tons to look at. And looking at it, you guys can see, not my YouTube video, um, you guys can see the... I, well, I'll post this down in the description for you guys to take a look at. Um, they have tons of different choices. Fantastic choices, by the way. Um, you guys can get the PS5. You guys can see the top here. The PS5, the Xbox, or the PS4. You can customize this almost completely. Um, if you guys can customize it, um, if we click on the customize button, you guys, I will be doing Xbox, but you guys can do the PS5 or the PS4. Tons, again, of different choices. You guys can see all the different colors here. I decided to go with a purple, but you guys have all these plain control or colors, which is great because I don't like the, the chaos of, like, blood spatter or um, sticker, what do they call it, sticker bomb and, and whatever, have two different colors. The, the, the actual controller itself, the faceplate is like a, it's a smooth, like, I couldn't imagine what to call it. It's like a rubber mat feel. It's not sticky. It's not gross. It's not, it cleans very easy. It wipes off clean and stuff like that. I've had it for a few days now and I just love the overall texture of it. You guys can get a textured back, which this rubberized feel on here gives you that great grip. You can do it in a whole bunch of different colors. I'll show you guys right here. Again, the face plates are in these different colors. Um, my controller itself, you can get a basic 154.96 or 150 or $154.96 controller, but you're going to get the basics of the basics. Now, when you want to start adding things, it's going to go up. You could get a $300 controller. You could get a $200 controller. You can get a $150 controller. If you want to up your game, you're not going to be paying base price of $69.99 for a controller or a $39.99 for a one that you buy at Walmart where you plug it in. If you want to get that fast response, the fast hair triggers, the fastest aim with without, because I'm not doing it myself. I'm not modding. I'm not, I'm not um, <clears throat> doing cheat codes and stuff like that. I want to do it to the legit way and this controller is the way to go. Um, again, there are controller, other controllers out there, but I felt like this was my best way. I've played some Call of Duty. I've played some uh, um, Apex. I've played Fortnite. I've played the new multiverse uh, game. I've played a few other games just to test it out on each one. And I definitely think it's going to be a great addition. I've only played a few games on each one, but overall the controller itself feels fantastic and the gameplay itself compared to my nothing wrong with the scuff. I love my scuff and I'll keep my scuff as a backup if anything ever happens to this one because I've only had it for a week or a few days. So who knows? I'll keep my scuff just in case. I'm not giving any negative reviews on that, but I'm doing the reviews on this one so far and I will do a review in six months and a year after this uh, controller um, as an update. Again, you guys can see here, you guys can customize the AB button, the XY button, you guys can do a gloss, you guys can do a see-through, you can do a, uh, a, co a cover like I did, which I didn't wanna do the see-through colors, I wanted to do this, 
where you guys can see the Y, X, A, B button, but it's not a gloss if you guys see it at an angle. If you guys play on Xbox, you know where the X button, you know where the Y button is, you know where the B button is, and the A button. You don't need something that tells you what it is. That's why I went with the version of just having the purple colors. I didn't want the clear version of them on there. So down below that one, you guys can see the actual D-pad, um, which you guys can have as a different color of your choice. The actual Xbox logo can be lit up in a certain color, which I chose purple. I'm not going to turn it on, but this turns up purple. Um, you guys can get your actual thumbsticks right down in here. I have mine as purple. I legit wanted to have this whole dang thing purpleized because obviously my logo is purple. Um, the only thing I have bad about this so far is I couldn't do the middle right here purple. I wanted that purple. Um, but I can't be too picky. I got my L B and R B buttons purple, my trigger and my zoom in button, uh, purple. I literally purple this thing to the max. If you want to, uh, green yours to the max, you can, you can blue yours to the max, red yours to the max, white yours to max, every color you guys can almost think of to an extent, to an extent base colors, I should say, um, which is fantastic. Um, scuff is on another whole ball ballpark. I'm not being negative to towards scuff, but I took a look at some of the, the colors that they have and no, um, I couldn't even get purple any anywhere to be, uh, to be honest. Um, you guys can see some of the colors are definitely a very soft, vibrant, um, in certain cases like this, um, green, orange, you guys can get a white black ver swirl version. These are new additions right there. Um, all these ones, again, look at these different colors, fantastic colors, and you guys can mix and match all these colors. If you want to make your color, uh, if you want to make your colors, uh, a Patrick or, a, a, a Packer color or a football team, a, a hunter's theme, uh, whatever, ha you can pretty much do that with this, uh, company. Um, the next one besides the thumb sticks we can look at is the trigger sticks that you guys can see right here, the LB, the bumpers, the right tricks and stuff like that, the actual middle as well. So that was kind of cool where the middle part right here is purple. Again, the only thing I hated was, um, is the, the back is not purple. Um, down below here, you guys can see, you guys can get a black, a blue, a purple, a red or a turquoise or a teal, not turquoise or a uh, white to black color, or you can do a standard. If you don't want that color on there, um, it's just going to be black. That's why I went with the, the purple on here because this would have been, would have been black if, if you didn't, I didn't want white because white definitely gets very dirty and look at, look at that. That looks cool. And it is raised bump bumpy and just again, fantastic. Um, you can have button mapping on the back. I chose not to go with here just because I, I've tried the map or the different map buttons. I don't like it. I, I want to stick with the, the normal, how an Xbox controller is supposed to be, but you guys can do where it's a white, it's a blue, it's a gray, it's a red and a, a, a yellow, which each button is going to cost you $10. Um, you guys can map them so that you can tell them it. So if you tell them, I want it to be a, you're not going to be able to change it after it's done. So make sure you guys know that one of the trigger buttons is going to be the, the trigger button and you can't change it once it's done. So the bottom will be either a B, whatever have you, but it's going to stay that way. So just make, make mental note that it's going to stay that way. Once you get it, um, that type. Now, the one thing I wanted to try myself was the trigger itself. The trigger, if you watch this one, I have that capability. Now this one, I can go a little bit shorter compared to the all the way, which I definitely love. I, I occasionally will play a car game where the long or the, the, the whole, the, 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 the longer the pull, holy crap, the longer the pull, you start out slow and then you start speeding up in like a car game. Now I wanted to try something different and I wanted to try mouse click. I have mouse clicks or mouse clicks on both sides and literally I'm telling you it's a game changer. 
Okay. I've played with both of them. I tried it on one game of Fortnite, one game of uh, Call of Duty, where I literally played with this one for like five minutes and then I switched and then I switched to this one. I literally saw a complete difference. I don't know what it was. I felt a faster response with the mouse quick click. I just felt better at it. And also I do believe I feel like I took out, um, I can't remember if I did or not. Also, the thumb sticks, you can change the height if you want a standard, if you want a, a taller one, which I did. Um, but I I can't remember if I took the rumbles out because I didn't feel the rumble in here. I could be wrong. Um, so don't quote me on that one. Um, you guys can change the build time. Uh, you guys can send your own controllers in that you have now. So if I wanted to take this and send it in, you can. It might take a little bit longer, obviously. Um, the standard build time that I chose was the four week, four to six weeks. You can do a build rush for a one to two week. But again, I didn't get my controller for almost three and a half months compared to the six, eight months. That's the only negative part I've had so far is the delivery or the build, the processing. It was the the worst part was the, the receiving, the building, and then... After that, I, it took me a little bit of time to get customer service. I think it took two weeks, um, which a lot of people are saying, oh, their their customer service is trash. They did respond to me. They're like, oh my gosh, we're so sorry. It has been in the build processing. It's just, we've had so many orders. We haven't got to it yet. They have, like, they're spitting out a lot of controllers for other customers, not just myself and other gamers. So I understand that part. I was a little bummed out it didn't get here sooner, but the 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 wait was worth it after I've been playing with it. Now I've added my own um, risers because I do like my risers like this. The only thing I hate about this one is because I have this riser like this, it's been gouging into here. Um, I have these control freaks on here. Some reason it's been gouging in here and been rubbing on these stupid silver pieces in here. I'm not quite sure why. Um, it does that. Maybe I push a little hard onto that, but onto this one, I got these rubberized ones that are fantastic. They are from Amazon. I'm not being sponsored by them, but it's Play Vital, the Game Changer. These high risers, they're like nine to eight bucks. Um, they have ones that are concaved, or what's the, they have ones that are dipped, or the ones that are up, I, concave or co I can't remember what it's called, but I got the ones that have the little bumps in here for extra grip to push forward. And again, it seems like also it's quieter, like moving it back and forth. I mean, it is brand new. I got mouse clips there, mouse clicks there. I think these are mouse, mouse clicks all, all over the place, but it's just, see, so if I'm, if I'm doing this over and over and over like this, it's a little loud, but if I do this one, like there's no, you can't even hear that. You can obviously hear these buttons, which are gonna be normal, but got mouse clicks on here. Mouse clicks there, so it's it's pretty much the same there. But overall, it is a more of a quieter controller. So I'm definitely very impressed. I'm a little bummed out that I couldn't change these black ones to purple right here, which is a little bummed out or like this one completely make it just purple rather than lighting up purple. Um, but overall, again, out of the controller itself, out of 10, I give it an eight, an eight out of 10. Now, when it comes to overall company, I'd give it a six to seven just because, um, it was delayed or it wasn't delayed, but it, the, it was the building process took a little bit longer than normal, but for them to compensate, giving me some people are going to be like, Oh my gosh, you got keychains and lanyards and Oh my gosh, that's what they gave you. What else are they going to give me an extra button or an extra controller? I mean, they can only do with what they can for being apologetic. And I thought this one for these three items, I thought that was a definitely great addition. Uh, I can't be complainive. Um, it's definitely cool. 
I'm going to probably add it to my whatever here. Again, definitely a great uh, addition to being a pro gamer. If you guys have a Cinch Gamer or, a game or controller, definitely comment down below. What do you guys use when it comes to a controller, uh, when it comes to Xbox, um, PlayStation 5, um, or do you guys use a keyboard? I know there's people who are like, oh my gosh, get on, the, get on the, the level of a keyboard and mouse. I can't do it. I'm telling you, I can't do it. Um, I love controller. I've had a controller in my hand since I was wee young, and I'll continue to have this in my hand um, on Xbox and play or PC. I do play sometimes on a keyboard, but I will always be a controller gamer. So if you guys do subscribe and comment and like the video, just know that I will be posting a six month video and a one year video on the update of how this controller is continuing to be. If you guys see me in six months to a year, um, I'll definitely let you guys know. But I would say if you guys are on the fence about buying this controller, do it. I don't think you'll be um, upset about the purchase. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, and what's to lose? I mean, yeah, you'll lose out on two to $300, which yes, can be significant. But I think it was an upgrade for my other controllers I've used. I've used the Razer controller, I've used, which Razer controller is great. I've used normal controllers. I just, this is a great purchase, I think. And it's an honest opinion because I'm not being purchased or bought by Scuff Game or uh, Cinch Gaming. They're not paying me to say this. I'm telling you from my honest opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video and we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.